Hello, my name is David Morris Gerke, and I am a founding member of Hidden Assembly, a People's Theater Company. My pronouns are he, him, and his, and my background in theater is that I fell in love with theater as an undergrad in college at Carroll College in Helena, Montana, and I really haven't looked back since. It's been um, my life, my livelihood, and my passion. The Hidden Assembly values that probably speak to me the most are uh, definitely going to be the values of empathy and respect. Uh, I have them tattooed on my wrist. I, I think that both empathy and respect help us to create a better world by trying to meet the other person as best we can where that person is at, by trying to walk in their shoes. Um, I always tell my students that, you know, empathy on this wrist is something that I keep for me so that I can better understand the world, better understand you, the student, better understand those around me. And respect is something that I just have to extend um, to, um, to, to everyone, um, or at least try to extend respect to everyone. Uh, I sometimes fail, uh, so it's probably a good thing that I have both of those values tattooed on my uh, wrist. So one of the things that uh, I can take credit for in getting this group to come together was, I guess it was kind of my brainchild, as you call it. Back uh, this last fall, kind of, I guess it was August and September, just really thinking about uh, COVID and how that's really hit us, how there isn't really a lot of work for, for young theater artists going around, for, for theater artists in general. I, I just uh, kind of took a look around and said, you know, but I've always wanted to make a theater company. Why not try and do it in the middle of a pandemic? So I started thinking about really who I wanted to work with. Um, and I was kind of scrolling through my Facebook friends and I saw that I had a lot of uh, current and former students kind of as friends on Facebook that we shared similar values with uh, that were also kind of looking for work, looking for things to do, looking for other ways to express themselves. So I kind of sent out uh, an invitation and thankfully I got a bunch of, bunch of yeses back from the company. And so here we are today now uh, with a great group of people of various talents and abilities and, and I couldn't be more happy. Uh, collaboration has always been a huge part of my work and what I do. Um, it's really why I fell in love with theater in the first place. I was kind of, I guess, maybe struggling a little bit uh, in English and in writing and doing that kind of solo creative activity. So it was really in theater that I found uh, kind of my community. So um, I thought the best way to probably create a company would be to do it collaboratively. Uh, so once I had this group of collaborators together, I really asked them, you know, uh, what roles do you want to take? And we all discussed it uh, together in meetings. Um, people put their hat in the ring for different positions. And what we came out with was really kind of really neat business and leadership structure where we have multiple people doing uh, dual roles, helping with different roles, uh, so I think we have two in each of our major areas, which is really, really exciting. Um, and so far our content too has all been collaboratively generated. Uh, we're really all about bouncing ideas off of one another and seeing what we're able to do, seeing what kind of work we're able to create uh, during this pandemic uh, and hopefully afterwards and beyond. I would say that the main purpose of Hidden Assembly, uh, People's Theatre Company, really our purpose is to create, to be creative, uh, to create some content that wouldn't be created if us as individuals weren't at the helm. And that's probably the most exciting thing to me, uh, is that we all kind of have this shared background, me being a professor at Adam State and the company members being former and or current students. So I, I think we're, we're taking kind of a shared value base and expanding off of that to create content and get it out into the world. We have so many different ideas in the works, so many different things uh, that we're each individually passionate about. And and things that we are passionate about together in different ways. I think that our um, kind of our Christmas uh, production really speaks to that. It kind of shows our very broad range. And I'm so excited about the various content that we have coming up. We just have so much coming down and in the works. It's really exciting to me to have this 
extra place, this extra space to really create with people uh, that I care about, that share values, and hopefully we'll start to gain an audience and have them really enjoy what we're creating and give us feedback to do that too. I really see that as becoming kind of a purpose of Hidden Assembly is being a people's theater company. And that to me says, well, we're going to start with the people that we have, that we've brought together, and then we're going to reach out and we're going to start inviting others to come and collaborate and play with us. Personally, uh, what I'm really wanting to take away from this experience is what I want from any experience as an artist. I want to continue to grow as an artist. I want to uh, continue to, you know, push my skills and my boundaries, my comfort zones. I want to be able to really take this experience and bring it to my students in the classroom and talk to them about what it means to start a company and be part of a company, to be self-sufficient, to be a self-producer, uh, to have that drive. Um, you know, I've, I've always kind of personally wanted to be part of a theater company and own part of a theater company. So there is kind of also that selfish little bit of it too, I guess, of uh, just the pride of being an owner of a company, uh, of being uh, one of the founding members of a company. So that is a reward in itself. Um, otherwise, as with everything that I do, it's kind of all about um, creating work and growing as an artist. Uh, that's if, if I can continue to do that um, through this experience with Hidden Assembly. Um, hopefully it continues to grow and it's something that I keep, keep getting to do uh, for years to come. Uh, what am I wanting to show friends, uh, family, community, world, etc.? Um, well, I'm really wanting to show them, well, me, 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 right? Uh, that's what kind of theater sometimes is, is all about. Uh, no, no, it's really not a platform to be all about me, but I guess in a little bit it is. Um, I've always lived in, kind of since I've grown up, you know, I, I've moved from my home in Oregon to undergrad in Montana. From Montana, I went and I spent years in Honolulu, and now I live in Colorado. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of friends uh, in lots of different states that don't get to see me or what I'm doing. Um, so I'm really just hoping that they get a kick out of maybe watching me personally, um, as well as um, watching the content that we produce. Um, I'm wanting to show them uh, just the artist that I am, and at my heart, I am a generalist, I am a goofball. Um, so that's what I want to show them, and I want to show them the, the great collaborative work that we're going to be creating as a community. Um, I want to kind of sh be able to be able to show off what I do a little bit more, and with Hidden Assembly being more um, of an online kind of based theater company, I think that's a really exciting venue in which to perform and create and share things. Um, you know, with, with my friends, with my family, but also with uh, my community and, and eventually with my world.